The distinctive sound of the accordion appears in almost every kind of music. The piano-style keyboard on the right-hand side produces the melody, while the buttons on the left produce the chord accompaniment. In between are bellows that force air through reeds, producing that unmistakable accordion sound. The accordion is a beautiful and complex instrument. It contains up to 10 sets of steel reeds with different pitches. Each reed set goes into a wooden block. Under every section is an opening called a tone hole. The bellows drives air through it, vibrating a reed above to produce a musical note. These leather and plastic pads cover the slots on the accordion's aluminum reed plates. Each plate holds two reeds. Both reeds produce the same note, one when you push the bellows, the other when you pull. They now apply a special wax to secure the reeds to the block. If they used glue, they wouldn't be able to remove the plate should a reed ever need repair. Each reed plate corresponds to a specific note or chord. To assemble the keyboard, they begin with a lever made of fiberglass reinforced plastic. It has a wooden core to give the key sufficient weight. A long metal lever goes into the top. When the musician presses a key, its mechanism unblocks the corresponding tone hole, allowing air to flow inside and vibrate one of the plate's two reeds. Next, they drive in the steel axle on which the keys pivot. Then they apply suction to a keyboard-sized tray. In it, they line up the plastic key tops. In top of the line models, the white key tops are made of celluloid. With the suction holding the keys down, it's just a matter of flipping the tray and clamping it onto the keyboard frame. The tops adhere to the levers, which have since received a coat of glue. After about an hour, the glue is dry. They cut the suction, and the keyboard is finger ready. Meanwhile, the reed blocks are in the hands of a tuning specialist, who pumps air with a foot pedal to vibrate the reeds one at a time. He compares each note to a reference tone from a tuning apparatus, and files the reed gradually until their pitches match. Now for the button keyboard. Starting with the valves, they install a wooden pallet over each tone hole. To that, they glue a steel lever. Then to that, they connect a brass rake. When the rake moves, it pulls the lever, which opens the valve, unblocking the tone hole. Air enters and vibrates the reed, producing the note. Each keyboard button opens three valves. That's why pushing one button produces a three-note chord. With the complex connections between buttons and reeds complete, the reed blocks go into a celluloid on plywood housing. It'll attach to the bellows, made of strong pleated cardboard, reinforced with leather and metal corner protectors. But before permanently attaching the bellows, all the reeds have to undergo a final and very extensive tuning adjustment. An accordion can have up to 600 reeds, so this meticulous reed-by-reed -reed tuning can take up to 16 hours. They now pin the bellows wood frame ends to the treble and bass housings. Then they cap each housing with a cloth-covered grill to keep out dust. After polishing the accordion to a high-gloss finish, it's time for a musical road test in white gloves. There's no sense in leaving fingerprints on that exquisitely polished surface. With the test checklist complete, the inspector signs off on it. You can't say this job's all work and no play.